So now that Pal World has launched as an incredible game, it's crazy to look back on old Pal World, when you could call it Pokemon with guns, and it seems like they were trying to make a crazier meme than Craftopia. So that's what I'm going to do for this video, go over this post showing cut content from previous trailers, or maybe stuff that hints at future content. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. So I want to react to each of these and give my thoughts on their plausibility, and starting with the rocket, I, I have no idea what to make of this. Again, this seems like Craftopia insanity to where it's like, okay, we're just going to have our pals build wacky things to use. Is that a rocket? Is that actually like a nuke? And that has something to do with like PvP or combat or base rating or something? I don't know. Are we supposed to like visit other areas? Because there is a massive sky city, but that just looks achievable without a rocket. That you get a flying pal or you need to get some kind of legendary flying pal and then you can make it to the city. However, the city has been absent from recent Pal World marketing, and that makes it kind of interesting. So this is the current Pal World title screen and cover art, but the old art for Pal World used to show the crazy Sky City, and finding its place currently in Pal World is kind of weird, because a lot of promotional and marketing material, even before the game came out, stopped showing the old Pal World cover. However, just a few months ago, over the summer, the early PAL decks still showed the old PAL World cover art. So I don't know, like, the relevance, how much of a future update this is going to be. You can even see the giant whale thing. This is serious promotional material for a game that's coming out soon. So it's interesting to see where that stands. Also, but, but then we have Dragastrophe still there. So that makes it a bit more interesting. Is this when, like, like, we don't even know what happened. I guess we can comment on that as it comes up. We still got a few other things to talk about. So yeah, this legendary flying Skywell dude. I mean, we've already seen cra crazy legendaries. Jet Dragon has now gotten a lot of features inside of Pal World, and that's also shown here. So Jet Dragon being in the background instead of the crazy legendary Skywell. Scrapped? later date, future content, as like the entire world or story of Pal World comes together? Who knows? But with Jet Dragon, we have a pretty crazy flying pal for moving about the map and exploring the world. If he's in the game, pretty cool. I, I have no problems with that. Then we also have fishing being shown early on, and I don't really know what to make of it. Like, fishing for pals? Yeah, but the pal acquisition and completing the pal deck is already pretty good. So I don't think we need to add fishing into that. Fishing for resources. I guess if like pals have a fishing skill, or can do something like that, that would be pretty cool. There's already so many other crazy ways of getting resources and food and progression inside of the game. This doesn't seem like it does much. Maybe that's maybe that's kind of the point. That's just supposed to be chill. You can have some downtime. You don't have to worry about min-maxing. You just do a little bit of fishing. And maybe there's an interesting little reward behind it or something exclusive. But maybe it'll, it was also just kind of shown that fishing doesn't fit inside the gameplay of Power World. So it ended up just being like hard scrapped. And then we have the giant Sky City to talk about, and I find it weird that this is not currently in the game. Did it have something to do with the story? Is it going to be a major part of, like, outside of Early Access when the game fully releases? Because the key hold or the, not the key, the tree holds the key, and that seems to be a big part of the story. But this could also be, like, a nice big city to have quests or interaction or actually get more direct story exposition, and it's just not in the game. And another thing that the game is missing is a big marketplace or a big area. An issue I have with Power World is that there's no cities. There's nothing major to interact with in an NPC kind of way. Yeah, there's a couple of wandering traders and the black marketeers and like two settlements. That's pretty sparse. And it also means like you can't really buy or sell or trade in a lot of crazy stuff. So that's what this looked like. And when I had my pre-early access media code, it was the first thing I was looking for, like an actual city so I could sell and buy things, and that's just not in the game at this time. I don't know how they're going to add something like this in, I don't know how this is going to interact with the story, but we do need a city, so I really hope it isn't scrapped or that the design philosophy hasn't changed significantly for Pal World when it comes to this, because I, I really want to go there, I really want to interact with this and have more gameplay options open up for me. And then we got this guy. There's no way Dragastrophe is coming to Pal World, right? Especially after the recent controversy, even though it was all debunked, even though the whole Pal World stealing from Pokemon thing was completely stupid and nonsense. That That's the line. And we actually don't know what happened to this guy. Did the devs go, wait a second, we're trying to have like a serious game here and 
We, we can't have a Frankenstein Pokemon monster like this. The developers said in an interview that they cleared a legal check with their lawyers, but does that include, like, scrapping this? That they went, nah, you can't have this one, and you can't have the Luxray one? And as more and more people were interested in this game, and it was getting more traction, did that actually get, like, some kind of response from Nintendo? Like, okay, everything else is cool, not that one, and not the Luxray one. Like, those two, no, everything else, you're fine. So, so we don't know what happened there, but, like, this... In this current state, not nah, absolutely not. And then we actually have like old boss stuff. So like, it seemed ready. Seemed like it was good to go. And we have the Lord of Darkness here. Does that mean it was actually replaced with Necromus and Palladius as some kind of like duo legendary thing? Maybe. Who knows? And then we also have an arena. So if we go back to the town, we can maybe even see like the fighting arena here. So this could just be like crazy future content, which has also been confirmed by developers. PvP. Raid bosses for in-game content. That sounds really cool. The PAL Arena. So I never saw the PAL Arena as something that was going to be like cut content or not going to be in the game. There, this is just early access. So a lot of the future content is being developed currently or still needs to be like polished and fleshed out and stuff. So wherever that goes is kind of an interesting discussion. Does that mean like, oh yeah, the city's coming because we have the PAL Arena and all this other stuff. Also, however, the raids are going to work. But they also say new islands, pals, bosses, and technology. Since we have the Palpagos Islands, this is all an archipelago, and then we also have the tree, which can't be accessed right now. Like, how's that all going to work? And where is the city going to materialize in all of that? Or, with, like, the full launch of the game, is the city just going to be, like, there from the start? It's just not in yet because early access, and then that becomes a main part of the story because there isn't really too much story stuff going on. Or like when you beat the tree, does this rise up and then like you're rebuilding civilization? Does this just appear out of nowhere as a part of like a new island or something? Who even knows? But like, yeah, we have a lot of new cool stuff that's gonna be coming in. Of course that was gonna be happening. We just don't have the full details of the roadmap and a lot of the stuff hasn't been shown in recent trailers. So it's kind of weird, like especially even the launch trailer for Power World didn't kind of hint like, oh, this could be a new thing coming up. So we're really just left to speculate on it. But yeah, it shows the arena here, and that could also be interesting on how the PAL PvP works. It's not going to be 1v1s like Pokemon. It's actually going to be you send out all three, and then they go and hard scrap it out, however that ends up playing out. Maybe there's synergies and team building stuff. Yeah, this dude. Yeah, tree... Well, actually, no, this actually looks like uh, some kind of elevator to the Sky Island city, potentially. Maybe has something to do with the tree... Maybe the inside of the tree is the city now, and that's where you're going to have the PAL Arena. We, we actually don't know what this is. This could mean anything, honestly. Back in the crazy Craftopia stuff, we have vehicles. So you could actually just... Like, you could just be cruel. You could just be insane and drag a rush ore behind a, a thing because you're a poacher, I guess. And, like, killing pals is supposed to be more taboo and bad. Oh, I haven't tried the pet Dire Howl. Are belly rubs just not in the game right now? Or are they talking about the fireplace? I don't know. Um, and then surf it. Oh, actually, that looks like another NPC. So yeah, like other leaders and powerful trainers and stuff bringing the story together. That makes sense. And of course, Reddit being Reddit, the top comment is completely unrelated. I would like to have different tiers of bonds with pals and better placement for structures. This post isn't about what you want for the game. Once again, just fixing the AI pathing and bugs that stops pals from working. I'm already fine with that. That's actually on the roadmap. Something I would like to see is something that allows resources to be shared across bases. Reddit! Oh my god, social media narcissism out of control. Like, just making making up a completely different discussion because you can't read or have any comprehension skills. Christ. I just want team load. That's uh, all right, I guess this is done. It looks like the only person in the Power World community actually like go back through trailers and document things and, and figure out content that might be added in the future or has been cut is just the OP. Either way, comment your thoughts down below, but I've already opened that up to just being ruined now, because now what everyone's going to do is they're going to comment their wish list, and they're not going to talk about the content of the video or this post to be like, yeah, I wonder what that rocket does, or was that actually a nuke? How's this going to interact with the city? No, they're just going to say fix AI pathing. I hate the internet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.